person who has an addiction is to make them homeless. Question number two, the Honourable Judith Collins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, is it acceptable for Housing New Zealand tenants to smoke methamphetamine in Housing New Zealand houses? The Honourable Phil Twyford. Well, methamphetamine, uh, Mr Speaker, is of course illegal and is doing immense damage to communities across New Zealand. Our government does not condone the smoking of methamphetamine anywhere. However, the member needs to understand the counterfactual. It is not acceptable for the government, for any government, to throw tenants and their children onto the street and make them homeless. We recognise that making people homeless does not solve... We recognise that making people homeless does not solve a tenant's problems or help people overcome addiction. It just moves the problem to somewhere else and makes it worse for the person involved, for their family, their children, the community and the taxpayer. Where meth testing showed residues exceeding previous standards, can this meth have gotten into Housing New Zealand houses any way other than smoking or baking meth? Uh, no, but there was no consistent baseline testing done by Housing New Zealand over those years. There is no way of knowing whether the hundreds of people who were made homeless under this policy had any personal responsibility for the contamination of those houses. And frankly, I'm shocked that the member who used to be a lawyer would think that that is OK. Is this the modern, compassionate face of the National Party? <laughs> Supplementary. When he said that, quote, 800 tenants suffered by losing their tenancies, end quote, is he saying that these 800 tenants were all wrongfully evicted from housing New Zealand houses? It depends what you mean by wrongfully evicted. Clearly, some of the 800 people, and I believe many of those people, were, had their tenancies terminated and were evicted without natural justice, without proper evidence of the case, on the basis of a bogus scientific standard. And all of those people, all of the people who were evicted, bar some who, for whom the standard of contamination was more than the 15 micrograms per 100 centimetres that Sir Peter Gluckman recommended as, the, as a, a sensible standard, all of those people were convicted on the basis of a scientific standard that that a government allowed to persist for years on the basis of no scientific evidence that exposure to third-hand contamination posed any kind of health risk to anybody. Commentary. You're right, Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, has the Housing Ministry restored the fundamental principle that one is judged to be innocent until proven to be guilty. I believe with the report released today, Housing New Zealand has embraced basic concepts of natural justice, of scientific evidence-based policy making, which is the exact opposite of what that government allowed to persist for years. In fact, they campaigned to drum up the moral panic and, and every day got up in this house and vilified state house tenants. Supplementary. <clears throat> what reports has he seen on Housing New Zealand's meth report? Mr Speaker, there are many contradictory reports swirling around on this issue, but one that I've seen that makes a lot of sense is where, and I quote, people were unfairly removed. If that's the case, they should be compensated and Housing New Zealand management should answer for it. Mr Speaker, that's exactly what today's report does, and that quote is from Judith Collins. <laughs> Supplementary. Will people who smoked meth in Housing New Zealand houses now be given two to three thousand dollars compensation? The point of the compensation is to compensate people who wrongly had their tenancies terminated and their possessions destroyed and in some cases made homeless. That is those are the people who will be receive a payment under the assistance programme. 
Will people who sold meth in housing, New Zealand houses, now be given two to three thousand dollars compensation? No. Huh, how did you know? Yeah, how would you know? What reports has he seen on alternative approaches to meth contamination in housing New Zealand properties? Well, Mr Speaker, I've seen reports of an approach to meth contamination where ministers have said, and I quote, we will not tolerate any meth use in Housing New Zealand properties, and I quote, state housing is a privilege and abuse of that privilege won't be tolerated, and then who gloated over the fact that Housing New Zealand were, quote, focusing more on meth use as opposed to previously targeting only home-based drug manufacturing. That approach, Mr Speaker, led to Housing New Zealand wasting the best part of $120 million and it made hundreds of people homeless and those statements were made by the Honourable Paula Bennett. Question number three, the Honourable Paul Goldsmith. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister.